Welcome everyone to the Zion's Wall broadcast with evangelist FX, the sharing the word of God. The grass wither and the flowers fade, but the word of God lasts forever. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the Zion's Wall broadcast sharing the word of God. The purpose of this gospel channel is to let you know the night is almost gone and the day is coming on. It must be the breaking of the day. Signs are everywhere that something is about to happen. And I come forward to share with you the word of God. To let you know that there is still hope in the Lord. There is still power in the name of the Lord. And blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. I want to share a message with you today, ladies and gentlemen. This message is found in the book of Isaiah chapter 6. Isaiah chapter 6. And I want to entitle this message, ladies and gentlemen, The Moving Power of God. The Moving Power of God. Stand by, ladies and gentlemen, for the word of God. Let us pray. Dear God, take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Remove Baxter and let your name be glorified. Oh God, I pray that you will use this vessel and make your name be amplified. I pray, O oh God, that someone who see this message will know that indeed, O oh God, that you still have power. You are still the bomb in Gilead. O oh Lord, you still have power to break chains and open doors. You still have power to shake things up. I pray, O oh God, that in, somebody will know that in spite of the struggle, in spite of the crisis, in spite of all what we are going through, God Almighty is still in charge. So I pray that you will let your power move in a mighty way even through this message. That every person that see this message, not because of Baxter, but because of you and the fact that you was died. I pray, oh God, they will give themselves totally to you. To know that God can flip the script and God still can change things and hope endures. Use me, oh God, for your glory. In Jesus' name I pray, let somebody say... Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Stand by for the scripture reading coming up. The scripture reading in this message is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 6. Isaiah chapter 6 is our scripture reading for this message. Remember the message and I go. God moving power. God moving power. Isaiah chapter 6, reading from verse 1 through 8. Verse 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I also saw the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the servants, each one had six wings, and with twain he cover his face, and with twain he cover his feet. And with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another, and said, Holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Verse 4. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Verse 5. Then said I, Woe is me. For I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Verse 6. Then flew one of the serpents unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with a fan from off the halter. Verse 7. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this had touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sin is purged. The last verse we shall read in the word of God said, verse 8, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 8. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who, and who will go for us? Then said I, here I am, O oh Lord, send me. This is a portion reading from the word of God. This message entitled, The Moving Power of God. Somebody say that with me. 
the moving power of God. Stand by for the word of God. Once more, welcome to the Zion's Wild Broadcast. Ladies and gentlemen, whether you're from near or far, here or abroad, do not forget to take a minute out of your busy time to subscribe to this gospel channel. Subscribe to the gospel channel because the purpose of this channel is to let you know God is still in charge. He's big and he's large and he's still in charge. This message entitled, God Moving Power. God moving power. In the year that King Uzziah died in Isaiah chapter 6, the prophet said, In the year that King Uzziah died, I also saw the Lord. Here is it, Isaiah the prophet is saying, I also saw the Lord. <laughs> He's not saying, I'm the only one that saw the Lord. He, he, he's saying that uh, I can't tell if anybody see the Lord, but I know in the year that King Uzziah died, I also saw the Lord. Now, Isaiah the prophet uh, was a teacher. Isaiah the prophet was a preacher and he had a friend that was a King Uzziah. King Uzziah was reigning for 52 years. King Uzziah came on the throne when he was very young. And this is to tell you, young people, you're never too young to be used by God. King Uzziah uh, uh, was a good king. You know, he uh, made few mistakes, but for in, in, in overall, he was a good king. So he reigned for 52 years. And you know, brothers and sisters, for any king or any person to rule for 52 years, they must be doing something good. Am I right, somebody? <laughs> so he was a good king. But in the year that King Uzziah died, it was a sad time. It was a sad time because the people know that King Uzziah, they know what he have done and how he made things better for them. But when he died, the people was troubled. The, the people was worried. The people was concerned because he's gone. And we don't know what the next person coming will do. So it was a sad time in the life of Isaiah the prophet. In the United States, I read and I understood that in the year that Kennedy died, John F. Kennedy died, in the year that he died, it was a sad time. It was a sad time in the United States. And I read that people came out that weekend in glorious copious shower. People came out from left, right, and center to mourn and to give God praise and to ask God for help when Kennedy died. And here Isaiah is saying, in the year that King Uzziah died, he went to church. When you're going through your struggles of life, that's not the time to stay home and cry. But that's the time to draw for strength and have fellowship and, and to see God in prayer. So in the year that King Uzziah died, Isaiah said, I also saw the Lord. But when he saw the Lord, I noticed in Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 1 through hate that God was high and what lifted up and his present his train filled the temple because God is so powerful when when God comes around his weight showed around because God is everything God is all powerful Isaiah went to church sad and while he was in the service he get glad because in church he started to have a vision in church, he see the Lord high and lifted up. In service, he see that God was the central object of worship. Because in verse 3, there was some angels saying, Holy, the seraphim and the cherubim, the, the seraphim were saying, Holy, Holy, Lord, God. They're saying, God, you're worthy. Hmm? 
They was giving God praise. The worship in the vision was to give God praise. And I want to tell somebody when you are praising God, when you are worshiping God, our main object is to give God praise. Not to the pastor, not to the preacher, not to the people. But our goal is to give God praise. For when the praises goes up, the blessings come down. Isaiah said, I was observing in a vision. I was in church, but I saw the Lord. He was above the trouble. Yes, when he went to church, he, he had met indeed the king Uzziah was indeed dead. But while I was in church, I realized that there is another king. There's another king and this king never dies. This king reigned forever. Isaiah known that Uzziah the king down here was dead, but God was alive. He was high and lifted up. He was sitting on the throne. He was still in charge. He was big and large. Ladies and gentlemen, we serve an omnipotent God. We serve a God that is present elsewhere. We, we serve a God, ladies and gentlemen, that is everywhere at the same time. This God is still in charge. We serve a God that is not just omnipotent, but he's omnipresent and omnipotent, meaning of all power. His whole embodiment is full of power. He's a real power source. And we serve a God who is omniscient. Hmm? He knows everything. He know what you're going through. He know what you've been through. He know what you're facing and he heard your cries. In this vision, Isaiah said, I saw the Lord and he was high and lifted up on his train. His presence filled the temple. And Isaiah said, while I was in vision, I get glad because indeed I was sad because a king died. But God in church give me hope. God in temple give me hope that there is another king that reigns forever. <clears throat> God move in power. Isaiah said, the doorposts move. When he saw the Lord fill up the place, when he said his train filled the temple, it's talking about his presence. And, he, and everywhere God is, you can feel his moving power. You see, we never see God physically, just like we have never seen the wind physically, but we feel the, the power of the wind. You have never encountered the Holy Spirit physically, but you know there is a moving power. You can feel the power of God in your life. You can testify. You feel the moving power. You experience deliverance power. You feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Isaiah was blessed when he was in church isaiah was blessed when he was in church when you come to praise god make up your mind to focus and to hear a word from the lord sometimes you go to church and everybody's sitting in the same pew in the same bench and somebody can't wait for the preacher to finish Somebody can't wait for the preacher to shut up. Somebody can't wait for the preacher to done. Sometimes when they go to church, they do everything and, and take their time. But as soon as the preachers get up, they start to look at their clock. They start to look at their clock. Uh, when he going to finish? Uh, why don't he finish? But you really need to realize that the word of God is powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. So while Isaiah was in church, he received... A message what was the message God is not dead the king down here is dead but God is alive and so you notice God was above the trouble sickness in your life but he was high and lifted up trouble to your neck but God is above the trouble your situation is sad, but God of the power, hurt have no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. But God is above the trouble, bills to your neck, but God is above the trouble. Isaiah, friend, the king was dead, but his God was still alive. And so while Isaiah was in church, he experienced the moving power of the, the Lord. The Bible said the doorposts move as a sign that God have the power to move things up. God have the power to open doors. God have the power to break chains. God have the power to turn something that is upside down, right side up. God have the power to turn your mourning into dancing. God have the power to give you victory 
when it seems like there is no hope for you to win. God have the power to let you win when it seemed like there was no sign or hope for you to win because God have the power to do what he want for who he want, when he want, how he want. Isaiah was in church and he was blessed. He got a vision in the service. When you go to church, make up in your mind, I come to praise the Lord. In spite of somebody else beside you complaining, excuse me, I came to praise the Lord. And you will experience the moving dandemite power of God. Let me share a few things with you that Isaiah experienced. Isaiah saw a vision of the Lord like never before. Obviously, Isaiah was going to church for a long time. Isaiah went to service time after time. But on this day, the service was not the same. On this day when Uzziah died, the church service was never the same. Because on this day, things was changed. Because he said, on this day, I saw the Lord and he was high and lifted up. In the vision, he saw seraphims giving God praise, telling us that the object of worship is to send praises to God. For when the praises goes up, the blessings come down and the doorposts move. The doorposts move. So even though the king down here was dead, the doorposts move because the king Uzziah was dead, but the king of kings was still alive. So the doorposts move and his presence fill up the temple. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you've been through. But I'm here to tell you that God still have moving power. God still have chain breaking power. God still have dandemite power. God still have deliverance power. Uh, and Isaiah saw the doorposts move. And I'm telling somebody today that God power still move. God have the power, ladies and gentlemen, in the sad situation. In the bad situation, in the midst of a storm, God can move things around. God can calm things around. Because one time Jesus was in a ship. And Jesus was in a ship or a boat. And there was a mighty storm on the ocean. And, and, and the disciples was trying to keep the ship a sail. And, and Jesus was down in the ship sleeping. And, and somebody get angry and upset and said, Master, where are you? We are in a storm and you are sleeping. Because God know that in the midst of hell down here, he still have the power to change the outcome. Jesus was sleeping. They wake him up and say, carry stone, not that way, perish. And Jesus got up on deck and he calmed the raging sea. He spoke to the wind and tell the storm and the thunder to shut up. And everything was calm that you could rock a baby to sleep. What is your point, Baxter? God still have moving power. So in the midst of the valley of the shadow of death, in the midst of your fire, in the midst of your crucifix, in the midst of being persecuted, in the midst of being lost your job, in the midst of loss in a loved one, there is hope in the name of the Lord. There is deliverance in the name of the Lord. And blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Notice that Isaiah went to church. He went to church and he experienced the power of the Lord. I'm going to close this message because today I'm not able to be long. So I'm going to put some pieces together and close this message. We're talking about the moving power of God. Isaiah experienced a few things I want to show you before I close. Number one, he saw God. Mm -hmm. He said, I saw the Lord high and lifted up. And his presence filled the place. Oh, brothers and sisters, when you call God, he will fill the empty spot in your life. Mm? Number one, he saw the Lord. Number two, when he saw the Lord, he saw himself. Can I say that again? When he saw the Lord, he see himself. For us to see ourselves, we first got to experience the dandemite, the, 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 the chain breaking power of the Lord, the healing power of the Lord, the moving power of the Lord. When you experience the moving power of the Lord, you can able to see yourself. He saw himself and he said, woe is me. 
when you when you when you get closer to the god get closer to god you will see that we are in trouble you will see the closer you get to god the better you see yourself the further we stay from god we tend to see everybody else but when you get close to the lord you will experience a difference in your life he saw himself isaiah he didn't see himself as a big shot he didn't see himself as somebody that is so blessed and i'm the only one having a vision of the lord but he saw himself as undone he saw himself as unworthy and he said woe is me because he realized that god is holy god is just and god is true and god is righteous and then when he saw himself he said woe is me for i am a man of unclean lips but notice that he didn't say, I, uh, I, I am alone with unclean lips. He said, but I dwell among people with unclean lips. But the closer we get to God, we'll see the need. We see the need, my brothers and sisters, to be cleansed. Amen, somebody? The closer we get to God, we'll see the need for us to be washed from our sins. We're not saying, Pastor, tell them. We start to say, Pastor, tell us. Because we realize that we ourselves have made mistakes and we ourselves have sinned. When you experience the moving power of God, you will be like David saying, cleanse me with Isaac and created me a clean heart. Psalm 51. So number one, Isaiah saw the Lord. Number one, he saw the Lord. Number two, he saw himself. And number three, he saw God's moving power. Isaiah said, when he said, woe is me, an angel flew with a live coal. And an angel put the live coal on the prophet lips. Because some of us can testify our lips may not be the cleanest. Our words may not be the best. And how do I know that you say you're a Christian and you say you're a child of God and we are coming from church and somebody bad drivers and sometimes the words come out of our mouth is not that we're speaking in tongues but it's a different word coming out of our mouth lord have mercy isaiah said he acknowledged that woe is me and when the angel see that he was willing to be free from the burden of sin an angel flew read isaiah chapter 6 from verse 1 through 8 i read it for you the angel flew not just with a coal but a live coal and the live coal that the angel brought the live coal touched two things the live coal was on the altar of sacrifice the live coal had and it blood and fire because the, uh, the, the 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 altar was the place that they sacrificed animals so the live coal touched the coal and the fire. The fire represents the power of the Holy Spirit. The live coal touched blood and the live coal mingled with fire. And fire represents the power of the Holy Spirit and blood represents cleansing. But what can wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can cleanse us and make us pure within? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. The blood never loses its power and there is a fountain filled with blood uh, drawn from a man manuel vein and sinners like you sir sinners like you my sister can come and plunge beneath this flood and lose our guilty stain i thank god uh, he have the remedy for sin it's a dangerous thing and it's a sad thing when you know you have an infection but there is no remedy for the infection and I'm so happy to share with you, my brothers and sisters all over the world. If you acknowledge your sins, if we acknowledge our sins, if we acknowledge that there is something to be cleansed and to take out and to change, and if we acknowledge our sins, Jesus have the remedy for our sins. He died on the cross that you would not die. He died on the cross and he have the remedy for sin. He shed blood can wash us and set us free. And who the son set free is free indeed. When you acknowledge your sins, when we acknowledge our sins, we can experience the moving power of God. The angel came, the seraphim came with a live coal and touched the prophet lips and when he touched the prophet lip with the live coal he said now you are purged now you are cleansed Baxter now you are pure because you ask God to 
help you. Isaiah said, woe is me. I'm in trouble. I need help. But when I look at God, holiness. <laughs> oh, the angels saying, holy, holy Lord God Almighty. Oh, the angels give God glory. You see and realize that we are nothing in comparison to the holiness of the Lord. And when we acknowledge our sins, look at the angel. The angel, the seraphim brought a live coal and put on his lip. We need to humble ourselves and say, God, come take Baxter. Cleanse me from sin, Jesus. Oh, I acknowledge my sins. I'm willing to stop sinning and I'm willing to be cleansed. For there is a fountain filled with blood. Jesus shed his blood and the altar where the coal was taken from, it was the blood spilled from animals for sacrifice. But Jesus, God's son, came as the ultimate sacrifice to die for our sins. That's why we can come boldly to the throne, throne of grace. We can experience the moving, cleansing power of God. Church, ladies and gentlemen, there's a fountain filled with blood. Come now. Come now. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 said, Come now. Do your sins be as call it. Come now. They shall be as white as snow. Come now. Don't wait. Isaiah, Isaiah was willing to be cleansed and he allowed the angel, the servant, to put the live coal on his lip to take out the dirty words out of his mouth. Take out the cursing out of our mouth. Take out the weed out of our mouth. Take out the drugs out of our mouth. Take out the, 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 the bad talking out of our mouth. We need to be cleansed. Acknowledge your sins, Baxter. Acknowledge your sins, my brothers and sisters. And ask God to send his Holy Spirit to cleanse us. Isaiah asks, Isaiah said, woe is me. And the angel flew with a live coal that touched his lip. Huh? And said, now you're purged. So number one, number one, Isaiah, in Isaiah chapter six, number one, he saw the Lord. He got a vision. He saw the Lord. There is nothing like having an experience for yourself by experience the deliverance power of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's good to know your mother saw the Lord. It's good to know your sister or your cousin saw the Lord. But there is nothing like when you can say, sir, when you can say, my sister, I saw the Lord. I experienced God deliverance power. I experienced God chain breaking power. I experienced dunamis power. I saw the Lord. Then he, number, so number two, he saw himself. But when you get closer to the Lord, the better we see ourselves in, instead of everybody else. Huh? And Isaiah said, woe is me. And, and then he saw God cleansing power because the angel came with the, with the, with the live coal and put it, on, put it on his lips and said, now you're purified. Now you can testify. Huh? So he saw the Lord, number one. Number two, he saw himself. Number three, he saw God cleansing power. And finally, number four, he saw the world. So can we go back over that again? Isaiah chapter 6 from verse 1 to 8. Isaiah saw the Lord. So for us to experience God's moving power, we got to get a vision of the Lord. He saw the Lord and he saw himself and then he saw God cleansing power. And number four, he saw the world. Because in verse 8 of Isaiah chapter 6, the Bible said, Also, I heard the voice said, Who shall go for us? And whom would I send? Who, whom will I send? Isaiah said, Here I am. O Lord, send me. Remember when he first came to church, he was sad because the king down here was dead. Remember his circumstances was not in his favor. But even though his circumstances was not in his favor, after I get a vision of the Lord, after he realized that kings come and kings go, but the king of kings reigned forever, he got a revival in the service in the church. And he said, I saw the Lord. And then he experienced himself need to be cleansed. And uh, the angel came the surfing with a live coal and put it on his lip and make him qualify. 
And then the Lord said, who shall go for us? And this man who went to church sad and was feeling bad because the king down here was dead. He got glad and while when God said, who shall we send? He jumped up and said, here I am, oh Lord, send me. Brothers and sisters, I, Evangelist F. Bexer, is asking everybody that see this message. Take a little time to pray for me that God will rest his holy hands on me and God will open doors and God will break chains and, and God will clear the way and God will give me the opportunity in my life for the rest of my life to rescue, rescue the perish and, and care for the dying with the word of God because the word of God is powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. My desire like Isaiah is to say here I am, O Lord said thee. Here I am, O Lord said Mr. Baxter. Put your name there. If that's your desire, Miss Brown, if that's your desire, Pastor, put your name there and say, Here I am, O oh Lord, send me. You want to experience the moving power of God, have a desire to please God. You want to experience the moving power of God, be willing to come out of sin. You want to experience the moving power of God, leave sin alone and come humbly before the Lord saying, Woe is me and ask God to forgive us for our sins. The moving power of God is available today because the Lord said, Whom shall we send? And you just have to say, Here I am, O Lord, send me. But before you go for the Lord, you must experience his moving power. Before you go for the Lord, you must experience his door opening power. The Bible said the door post moved. The door post move of the voice of him that speak. When you stand for God, the God we serve has, has so much power. That when he speak, things will move. When he speak, things will move up and down. When he speak, things will never remain the same. But when he speak, you will get a change in your life. Doors will be opened in the name of Jesus and chains will be broken. But for you to represent God properly, you and I must first experience the moving Holy Ghost power of the Lord. In these last days, we need the power of the Holy Ghost. In these last days, we need to be washed in the blood. And ladies and gentlemen, we need to go back to some of those whole songs. Remember some of those old songs when you are going through. Isaiah was going through. He lost a great king. Isaiah was going through. He lost a friend. Isaiah was going through. Somebody online. Somebody is listening to me. You are going through. You you lost somebody that is dear to you. You you lost somebody that is near to you. You you lost your job. Your daughter is giving trouble. Your husband and your wife is giving trouble. You are you are going through. Somebody is going through a fire right now. Somebody is going through a storm. Somebody have been stuck in the mud. And God sent this message for you. Talking about is God's moving power. Oh, there is power in the name of the Lord. There is deliverance in the name of the Lord and blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord because when Isaiah came to church, he received a blessing when he came in the name of the Lord. If you want God moving power, you have to be willing to be used. You have to be willing to humble yourself like Isaiah and acknowledge that woe is me. I need help God and turn to some of those whole songs we used to sing like Pass me not, O oh gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. Why many good Christians are calling, Oh, Dr. Jesus, please do not pass me by. Acknowledge that I'm a sinner saved by grace. Acknowledge, oh, amazing grace. Oh, sweet the sound that save a wretch like me. I once was lost, but today in the name of Jesus, after experience God's moving power, I once was lost, but now I'm found was blind but now i see acknowledge god's moving power and like the angels that were singing holy holy give god glory and in spite of what you're going through when you start to give god glory you will see and experience the moving power of god oh ladies and gentlemen when the praises goes up in your troubles you will see the blessings of the lord come down you will see, oh God, move up things. You will see, oh God, shift out things. You will see, after a while, your morning turned into dancing. Because Isaiah went to church sad. But while he was in church, he got a peace. While he was in church, he got a vision of the Lord. And he got glad while he was in church. When you worship God, just go with a humble spirit. And be willing to hear the voice of the Lord. So sing some of those old songs when you are going through. 
I'm just a sinner saved by grace. I'm just a sinner. Come on. Saved by grace. Come on. And I stood condemned to death unless he take my place. I'm not a singer. But you can sing. Sing some of these whole songs. Father, I stretch my hands to thee, no other help I know. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and grief to bear. And what a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Call on the name of the Lord and sing some of those songs. My hope is built, I'm going through, but my hope is built. I'm going through the fire, but my hope is built. I'm stuck in the mud, but my hope is built. Uh, my hope is built. My hope is built. I'm going through the situation, needing financial blessing. But my God is a God of resource unlimited. My hope is built and nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. And one day, if you keep holding on, you will experience the moving power of God like Isaiah experienced on this day. I close. I close. I don't know what you're going through and I don't know what you've been through but God in heaven send this message for you I don't know where you live I don't know nothing about you but the God of Isaiah the God of Jeremiah the God of Nehemiah the God of Ezekiah Oh, the God of Zephaniah, the God of Elisha and Elijah oh this same God send this message for you if you want to experience the moving down the might power of the Lord, come in his presence. Like Isaiah came in his presence. And when you come in his presence, even if you're by yourself, just fall on your knees like the angel and say, Holy, oh holy, Lord, you're holy. Lord, you're worthy. Lord, there is none like you. Oh Lord, you're everything. Angels bow before you and here is Baxter. Put your name. Here is Baxter. Come to lift you up. Come to give you praise because I'm going through some things that I can't solve. Humble yourself before God and see what he will do. I encourage you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. That in spite of what you're going through, somebody is in jail right now. you have been locked up in jail. It seems like there is no hope. But God is reminding somebody that there is still hope even when things is not going your way. God is letting somebody know even in the shadow, in the valley of the shadow of death, there is hope. Young people, I want to tell you there is no hope in coke. There is no hope in weed. There is no hope in drugs. There is no hope in crack and coke. But there is power and hope in the name of the Lord. So in spite of what you're going through, in spite of your sad experience, in spite of the bad experience, sometimes your setback can be an opportunity for a great comeback. You just want to experience the moving power of the Lord. Isaiah, when he went to church, experienced having a vision of the Lord. High and lifted up. God train, God presence, fill up the place. I, I pray even now that God will fill up your circumstances. Somebody, some of us, our cup is empty and running down, but I pray that God will just be merciful to somebody and touch somebody from the crown of their head and to the sole of their feet because the doctor said you don't have long to live. But God is greater than the doctors. Somebody have a court case and the lawyer saying things are not looking good for you, sir. Things are not good, looking good for you, my sister. But God is saying, I'm greater than the lawyers. And I'm greater than the doctors. I can do what they can't do. Because how you think Isaiah would come out of church rejoicing? In verse 8 of Isaiah chapter 6, he leave church rejoicing. Say, here I am, oh Lord, sent me. But when he went to church, he was sad. But while he was in the presence of God, he felt the moving, dandemite, cleansing, power of the Lord. Do you want to feel the presence of the Lord? Confess your sins to God and tell God the truth. The thief on the cross confess his sins and he was forgiven and given a second chance for a future. 
when the road is called up yonder. I evangelist and back to encourage you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Everyone all over the world, please take a minute out of your busy time. Please, kindly, pray for me that God will continue to use me and like Isaiah, that he will send me. I don't want to come on this program. I don't want to come on Zoom. I don't want to preach God's word. I don't want to come on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or anywhere. I don't want to come on no platform just for glory, just for myself. I want to lift up the, the name of the Lord. I want the world to know that God is still in charge. You can experience his moving power right now. You can experience his deliverance power, his power, his breakthrough power. Ah, yes, you can experience his door opening power. Somebody can testify. You're right, sir. You're right. I experience his power. I encourage you as you go through these days to take some time and give God praise. And in this message, I know somebody will be blessed and somebody have been blessed. But I'm asking you, sir. Yes, you. I'm asking you kindly to take a minute out of your time. You know you're busy. To share this message with somebody. We have shared many things before. But I'm asking you because this message is a, is a, is a soul searching message. So this one. Share it with somebody. But somebody might be going through. And they need to experience the moving power of God. They need to experience the Holy Ghost power in their life. So please share it with somebody. Let it go viral for Jesus Christ. The purpose of the Zion's Wild Broadcast is to speak the truth and nothing but the truth. I backstab I'm not perfect, so some of the message is not all the best in the world. But I'm trying my best to help rescue and help share the word of God. And you are listening. Not by accident. Not by coincidence. But God calls you to listen. So you can share this message with somebody. To let them know that all hope is not gone. You can still experience the moving power of God. By the year that King Uzziah died in Isaiah chapter 6, Isaiah said, I saw the Lord. And he was high and lifted up. He was above the, 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 the troubles that he, Isaiah was facing. The troubles of loss in a loved one. God was saying to Isaiah, you are not certain of the next king down here, but at least you are certain of me up there. So he gave him a vision while he was in church. <laughs> please share this message with somebody. And if you have not yet subscribed to this gospel channel, please subscribe to the gospel channel. And ladies and gentlemen, do not forget every Sunday morning the giant evangelist it backs up on radio 905 fm.net net that's 905 fm.net every Sunday morning you know by God's grace every Sunday morning giant evangelist it backs up on the radio station 905 fm.net with Dr. B's sharing the word of God with gospel songs and for 24 7 check out my YouTube channel by typing evangelist F Baxter and do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. Help me share the word of God to everybody in these lost days. The one thing you can give them that will remain is the word of God. You give somebody money and it may done, but God's word never fails. It's powerful and it's sharper than any two-edged sword. So share this message with somebody. For you are sharing something that is everlasting. The word of God. This word of God come from the book of Isaiah chapter 6 and the topic entitled God's moving power. Can you say that with me? God's moving power. Experience the power of the Lord for yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, keep me in prayer. And remember in life, it's never too late if you come to God now. But remember, time is running out, so don't wait forever. Because he that shall come will come in spite of what's going on. I want to let you know that the grass wither and the flowers fade, but the word of God lasts forever. One more time, the message entitled God's moving power. God's moving power. May the peace of God enfold you. May the grace of God just cover you. And may you experience a breakthrough. May you experience a revival in your soul like Isaiah. That's when Isaiah leave church. He leave with a pep in his step and a wave in his hand. Here I am, O Lord, sent me. I know you're going through, my sister. 
I know you cry sometimes. But God see your tears. And God know your fears. And he will not give you more than you can bear. Oh Lord Jesus, God who reign forever, this man, this woman. There's somebody that is going through, oh Lord. There's somebody that is stuck in the mud. There's somebody that just lost a loved one. There's somebody, dear God, that is sick and the doctor said they can't help no more. Oh, I come in the strong name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, I pray that this man, you will touch him from the crown of his head. This woman, this boy and girl, including myself. I pray that you will touch us from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. Uh, let us experience your healing power. Let us experience your shaking power. Let us experience your cleansing power. And be willing like Isaiah to testify. Oh, Lord, here I am. Oh, Lord, send me. Oh, thank you for this message, dear God. I pray that when the rule is called up yonder, Baxter, and all who love you, oh, Jesus, will be in the number when the saints, when the saints go marching in. Pray for me, my brothers and sisters, that all these messages I'm doing will not be in vain, but somebody through these messages will be blessed and touched. And above all, when the rule is called up yonder, You'll be saved in the kingdom, in the kingdom of God. God bless you and have a nice day. This is Evangelist at Back. So please subscribe, like, and share in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for coming by. Welcome to the Zion's Wild Broadcast. Have a nice day or night. God bless you.